Good morning! How are you today, my lovely students? I miss you so much! How is Eid al-Fitr? Did you enjoy your time? I hope everything was okay. It's English class and today we don't have a new lesson. But we are going to revise what we have learned in the previous lessons. You know why? Because next week we have a unit test and we need to be ready. So I want you to be focused and also to concentrate today. If you do this, for sure you will get a full mark. I am sure you can do this. So, who wants to get a full mark? I think everyone wants to get a full mark, right? So, let's start our revision. And revision is very important because revision will help you to remember all the things that you have learned before. So, are you ready to start? Well done! So, let's get started. Okay, so now let's read the day and day together. This is our daily routine. So, today is Wednesday and the date is May 27, 2020. Thank you for helping. So, what about doing some actions before starting our lesson? So look over here. I want you now to put your hands in the air and shout, I love revision. Let's do it. Hop your hands. Okay, and let's say, I love revision. Great, everyone! You are amazing! So, time to revise. What we are going to revise? Let's read. It's written over here. Reading comprehension and vocabulary words. Okay, and here we go, everyone. Copy and paste in your browser the link below to revise the vocabulary words that we have learned in the previous lesson, the lesson of the art project. Okay, everyone, what I want you to do now is to get your English book, the reading one, because we're going to use it. So I want you to open page 374. Please write the date before you start. Okay, so let's revise the words together. So let's start with the first one. I am curious to find out what is in the box. Let's read it one more time. I am curious to find out what is in the box. So what does the word curious mean? Let's read the meaning. It's written over here. Meaning, wanting to learn more about something. Let's read it one more time. Wanting to learn more about something. So, let's put the word in a sentence. Let's say it one more time. Curious. So, I want everyone to brainstorm and put the word Curious in a sentence. I'm going to give you some time. Okay, so what is your sentence? I am... So let's write it. I am... Curious... Okay. To learn... About... Planets. And now let's move to read word number two. 
Lily waved from a distance, but her friend did not see her. Can we read it one more time? Lily waved from a distance, but her friend did not see her. Excellent. Now let's read the meaning. Seeing, uh, see something from far away. One more time. See something from far away. Excellent. So brainstorm and put the word distance in a sentence. I'm going to give you some time. Okay, go ahead. These days, people keep a distance from each other because of coronavirus. Well done. So you need to keep a distance because of coronavirus. So no need to be so close to the people. Right, everyone? So great job, everyone. Thank you for helping. Okay, and now let's continue revising the vocabulary words that we have learned in the previous lesson. Okay, so let's read what's written over here. Water and trees are important earth resources. One more time. Water and trees are important earth resources. And now let's read the meaning. Meaning. Things found in nature that people can use. So, be careful. Every time we are reading the sentence, look at the red words. Because these are the vocabulary, vocabulary words that we are revising. Okay? So, the word over here is Earth resources. Say it one more time. Earth resources. Excellent. So when I say earth resources, I am talking about the things that can be found in nature and people can use. Can you give me some examples? And now let's read this sentence together. The bird looked tiny on top of the enormous rhinosaurus so the word is enormous let's say it one more time enormous so let's read the meaning is very large in size or amount let's say it one more time is very large in size or amount so when i say enormous I am talking about something which is too big or too large in size. So look at the animal here. This animal is so large in size, while the bird is very tiny or small. Okay, so when I say enormous. I am talking about something that, that is, is large, very large in size. size. So everyone, put the word enormous in a sentence. Take your time everyone. Think about something that large that is large in size. Yes, go ahead. Wow, that elephant is enormous. Wow, it's a good sentence. Say it one more time. Wow, that elephant is enormous. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue revising the words. Let's read what's written over here. And please pay attention to the red words, okay? The girls gently patted the puppy at the shelter. Let's read it one more time. The girls gently patted the puppy at the shelter. 
Wow, excellent reading. So now let's read the meaning of the word gently. Here the G everyone is a soft G, a soft G. So let's read the meaning. Do something carefully or lightly. One more time. Do something carefully or lightly. Excellent. So, I want you to use the word gently in a sentence. Okay, so what is your sentence? I gently took care of my sister. Okay, let's write the sentence together. So, what is your sentence? Let's write it together. I gently took care. I gently took. I gently took care of my sister. Wow, that's wonderful. So, let's read the sentence together. I gently took care of my sister. So, everyone, you need to be nice to your siblings and take care of them. Let's move to read the sentence over here. Let's read it together. Julia smiled proudly when she finished her painting. Let's read it one more time. Julia smiled proudly when she finished her painting. And now let's read the meaning together. Do something in a way that shows you are pleased with what you have done. So everyone, when do you feel proud of yourself or when does your teacher feel so proud of you i feel so proud of you when you behave when you listen when you get good marks so make sure that you're working so hard and also you're studying because we have a unit test next week okay two more vocabulary words are left so let's read what's written over here it rarely rains in the dry desert one more time it rarely rains in the dry desert so the word is rarely and now let's read the meaning it does not happen often one more time it does not happen often okay so i want you to put the word rarely in a sentence something something that doesn't happen all the time so Think about a sentence. So what is your sentence? It rarely rains in the UAE. So let's write the sentence over here. I need your help. So it rarely yes rains in the UAE. E. Because the United Arab Emirates is a hot country in the summer, I mean, and most of the time there is no rain, and sometimes it rains in the winter. Let's read the sentence over here and this is our last vocabulary word for today so let's read what's written over here 
The teacher has a supply of colored pencils for the class. Let's read it one more time. The teacher has a supply of colored pencils for the class. So the word is supply. Let's say it one more time. Supply. Okay, now let's read the meaning. The amount of something available for use. One more time. The amount of something available for use. So I want you everyone to put the word supply in a sentence. So as you can see, the teacher has a supply of colored pencils. So think about a sentence. I'm going to give you some time to think. When I say supply, I mean the amount of something available for use okay so what is your sentence the student okay the student has a supply has a supply of pencils of pencils Okay, let's write for the class. So, excellent everyone. Thank you for helping. Now, let's, okay, there are some questions and let's answer them together. So what we're going to do here is to choose the correct answer. The meaning is written over here and what you are going to do is to read the meaning and then choose the correct word. So let's read the first one. Very large in size or amount. Very large in size or amount. So, look over here, it's very large in size or amount. So the word is enormous. Well done. Okay, so let's read number two. Things found in nature that people can use. Or natural resources. So what is the word everyone? Let's go back to the picture and remember the word. The word is Earth resources. Excellent. Okay, we are done. So and also enormous. Okay, so See something from far away. See something from far away. Distance. Excellent. Here. Wanting to learn more about something. Wanting to learn more about something. Curious. Excellent. The amount of something available for use. What is the word? What is the correct word? Supply. Excellent. Okay, so number six. It doesn't happen often. What is it? Rarely. Okay. Now, number seven, to do something carefully or lightly. To do something carefully or lightly. Gently. Well done. And the last one, a way that shows you are very pleased and not ashamed. Proudly. Proudly. Excellent. So, let's check our answers. 
So look at the answers over here. Wow, the answers are correct. So now let's read each sentence. Very large in size or amount. Enormous. Things found in nature that people can use or natural resources. Earth resources. See something from far away. Distance. Wanting to learn more about something. Curious. The amount of something available for use. Supply. It doesn't. It does not happen often. Rarely. To do something carefully or lightly. Gently. A way that shows you are very pleased and not ashamed. Proudly. Wow, everyone, you are a superstar. Okay, and now we're going to read the story and choose words from the box to complete the sentences. Then we're going to write the answer on the line. So here are the words that we are going to use. So let's read the words. Curious. Distance. Earth resources. Enormous. Gently. Proudly. Rarely. And supply. Okay, so let's read the story together. Sam was eager to learn or curious. Okay, let's write it. So it means you want to learn about something. Okay. About coal. He traveled quite a distance to the library. Okay. He found... Oh, uh, there he there found he found an enormous book. It was about earth resources. Uh-oh, let's write it one more time. Okay. The book was rarely used. So it looked new. Sam did not want to rip the pages. So he turned them gently He learned that there was a supply of coal underground Sam Proudly reported all he had learned about coal to his class. So let's take the answers together. Okay, so it's correct, correct, correct. Wow, all of them are correct. Well done everyone, this is the first part of the revision and now we are going to continue the second part. So let's stop for a while.